My name's Kyle, and this is gonna be the world's fastest lawnmower. Let's get into it. So what is this thing anyway? Well, it is a lawn mower that I have put a motorcycle engine into. This has a Kawasaki KZ440 parallel twin motorcycle engine in it uh, with full motorcycle transmission, sequential, and I built an entire frame around the original bodywork so that I could actually house the extra power and the extra weight of this engine. There's also a lot of other things going on with it, but in this video, I'm going to show you exactly how we got everything from the steering, the lights, the rear axle, the brake, and the shifter set up and got us to exactly where we are at this point in time on this project. To get to this point, I had to start with making my design, figure out what I was actually gonna build. Uh, I decided to start off by laser scanning the actual lawnmower as it sat in its original form. Uh, I used a laser scanner that I borrowed from work that is actually super cool. Within a few minutes of walking around the lawnmower, I was able to create a 3D model that's perfectly accurate in my computer. I then used this model that was generated to use Fusion 360 and design everything else around it. Uh, I created the frame, I created the custom length rear axle, where the pillow blocks went, the engine mounts, and of course, the suspension up front that we'll take a look at in just a minute. All of this was done in the computer before I made my first cut or before I even started taking apart the lawnmower. Not only did I scan the lawnmower as it sat in its original form, I also scanned this engine while it was still in the motorcycle that I picked up for dirt cheap. It was in rough shape, but I was still able to scan this engine and then in the computer, digitally pull the engine out of the motorcycle frame before I did any work on it. This allowed me to set these engine mount locations and figure out if this thing was even gonna fit at all. On yourself, on your faith, on your dreams, on your mind, on your health, yeah You gotta work, never tell, keep your head down, find what you love and excel, yeah Push and pull and repel any hate, go create what you want, feel compelled, yeah And once you finally get a taste of the race, you'll never look back once you felt that Don't let somebody take your time and your work, just focus on yourself first Don't let somebody take your time and your work, just focus on yourself first Now up front, we have a solid front axle with a single central pivot, very similar to what most lawnmowers have today. This, of course, uh, is different in the way that it's much stronger. It's made out of two inch square tube. Uh, and I've also designed it on, on the computer so that it had angles that actually gave me more articulation clearance from just a straight axle. Um, I did go through several design iterations, one which I, I had independent front suspension, which would have been cool, but for this width, this size wheel, and the amount of space I had to work with, it was just not working out for the time being. So maybe down the line that'll happen, but for now, we've got a solid front axle with pretty good articulation, and of course, We've got the wheels turning, connected together through that steering. So 
I'm pretty happy with how this came, came out and I think it's pretty solid. Now, of course, there is the matter of the front hubs. Pull these off, you can see there's a front spindle that is welded on to that front axle. Now this front spindle came with hubs that had a three hole pattern. That didn't match up with the four hole pattern that came on my wheels. These are the same wheels I'm using in the rear. I could have just drilled uh, the three hole pattern right into the wheels. That would have been the fast solution. That would have been, uh, in my opinion, kind of a cop out, a shortcut. And I decided to go with actually cutting out some pieces on the CNC plasma that allowed me to weld ex an expansion onto the hubs themselves and then drill the proper four hole pattern. I then actually welded in studs for, these, uh, for the wheel lug nuts that match the rear. I think the little things like having the lug nuts in the front match the lug nuts in the rear goes a long way in the cohesiveness of this project and making it much less of a Frankenstein and more of a well thought out build. Now the steering on this actually turned out to be more of a challenge than I had anticipated. Originally I planned on just running some universal joints around this big engine and get down to the rack and pinion at the bottom. Uh, in theory, that was fine, but in reality, it's just too congested and the engine is directly in the way of every routing that I had possible. So I just, after I thought about this for quite a while, I decided that I needed to just drop the steering straight down and I found that using a sprocket with it that's supported by a top pillow block uh, coming off of the steering wheel here, uh, that and then dropping it straight down to another chain and pillow block was the best way to get around the engine. This allowed me to actually stop right here with the steering and drop it all the way down to underneath the engine where it was no longer in the way and I wasn't gonna be interfering with the drive sprocket or the shifter. So this took a little bit of thinking to figure out, but I'm really happy with how it turned out. Uh, kind of a complicated looking solution but it works really well and it's actually very simple in, in practice. I'm pretty happy with how it turned out. Think about others way before myself, yeah I guess that's why I feel like I go through hell, damn Wasting time on your dreams instead of mine, yeah About to turn this franchise around on a dime, man It's all about finding your right state of mind It's all about turning the worst into fine It's all about time and the work and the climb From the thirst we will rise, I'm immersed in this life Don't let somebody take your time and your worth Just focus on yourself first Don't let somebody take your time and your worth on yourself first Don't let somebody take your time and your worth Just focus on yourself first Now we can't forget about the rear end here. This is where the power hits the ground. Uh, back here we've got a one inch solid racing rear axle from Go Power Sports. 
it's running through two heavy duty pillow blocks that are underswung on the frame, which uh, allowed me to get a little bit more ground clearance with this size wheel and tire. Of course, we've got our drive sprocket. Uh, we're using the same hubs as up front. And right here, we have the only brake that's gonna be on this. Uh, rear brake, rear disc brake that's hydraulic. I still have to pipe that one in, uh, but it is mounted here right now off of this steel bracket that I designed up and cut out on the CNC. All of this went together pretty smoothly, and I'm really happy with the way that the fit and finish is on this custom length rear axle because I designed it up front and knew exactly what I needed. Also back here is our battery box where all my wiring runs to and the battery sits. Let's talk about the tires. Front and rear, I've got 19 inch street compound tires. And you might be asking yourself, well, why didn't you go with big knobby tractor tires? And having a shallower tread pattern seemed like a better way to go. Uh, it'll probably give me a lot better grip on pavement. Uh, and then it'll be a lot more fun in grass and off-road to be able to slide it around uh, and drift this thing. They were a little bit of a challenge to get mounted. I didn't, I don't have a tire machine, so I had to use tire spoons and they put up quite a fight. But once I got them, the best way that I found to actually get air in them for the first time was to use the starting fluid and lighter technique. Never done it before, and it worked perfectly on all four of these tires. I cannot believe that worked. Now every high-speed lawnmower needs a gas pedal to go real fast, so I made one. Here we've got our gas pedal that I designed on the computer out of a few different pieces, but it's primarily a 16 gauge piece of sheet metal that is folded together, a few pieces of eighth inch plate steel for the pedal itself, and a 3D printed drum that the throttle cable actually wraps around, which gives it its pulling strength. This worked out really well. It's all hooked up. You can see the carburetors are moving there. I'm pretty happy with how this turned out. And I think it's going to be just fine for a gas pedal on this one. Now I know what you're thinking at this point, and that is why. Why am I spending the time, the energy, and the money on putting a motorcycle engine into a beat up old lawnmower that doesn't even cut grass? Well, the answer is not that I want to have the world's fastest lawnmower, although I do think that drifting it around in the yard does sound like a pretty good time. The answer of why I'm doing this is for the build itself. Hopefully over the course of this project, you see my skills from welding, metal fabrication, part design, electrical, all of these things uh, develop. I know looking back on some of the welds that I did a long time ago on this project, on the frame, they look terrible. Some of the new welds look a lot better. So to me, that is progression of skill sets. I, I enjoy the challenge. I enjoy resolving these kinds of challenges and fabricating things uh, that at the end of the day is going to give me a running and driving toy to play around with. I hope you agree that that's a worthwhile use of time. Uh, I think it is anytime you're learning a new skill set and developing skills and learning stuff. So uh, let's get back to seeing what we've put together on this so far. Now that we've got a gas pedal over there, we need a shifter. So the shifter I have run to right here so far, um, I'm going to extend it up and give it a nice long throw. Um, but it is connected. You can hear it clicking through the gears. Uh, it goes from here to a pillow block that supports it. Originally, I had planned on having a hand brake instead of a foot brake. Um, this is what I came up with. Um, 
welded it all up, got it this far, designed the bracket to hold the, uh, the actual master cylinder, and it, it works really good. Uh, I was just about to weld it in and tack it onto the frame. Um, it was gonna be over on the right-hand side. But then I realized that with the clutch going to a hand clutch, if I wanted to initiate a drift, I needed to pull in the clutch and lock up the rear brake. That meant both hands off the wheel, which was not uh, the best way, I don't think. So I decided, even though after I had already put all this effort into designing this up and having it look really good, um, that I needed to go with a hand clutch and in turn, I needed to have a foot brake. So this is not going on, but pretty cool anyway. Now up front, I have my cooling fan that is mounted on this custom made shroud and fan bracket that I made up. I've also got my igniter and regulator up here to run the engine. I had to get all this figured out so that I could run the engine for the first time and know for sure that it does in fact run. Uh, since I bought the engine not running, I didn't really know what I had. Now I wired everything in. I've got both of my headlights wired in individually so that if uh, in the future I need to change them out to something brighter, I can. So this is my main kill switch. And let's see what happens. All right guys, you are pretty much up to speed on this engine swapped lawnmower project. This has been about a year's worth of video footage condensed down into 20 minutes. So I did cut a lot of the fabrication out, but in the next video, we're going to get into setting up the clutch, the shifter, the rear brake, and getting all the odds and ends kind of buttoned up so we can actually take this thing for its first drive. I'm pretty excited about that. I think it's gonna be pretty cool and pretty fun. So if you like this video, make sure to hit the like button, subscribe to the channel so you see the next videos. Um, you can see the actual first drive and all the fun I'm gonna have with this. If you think that there's something I should do to this as far as a wheelie bar, NOS, supercharger, I don't know, whatever it is, leave a comment down below. Let me know what you think I should do with this project um, after I get it running, what I should do differently. Any of the good ideas, I'll definitely consider uh, adding to this project if I think they sound like fun. So thanks for watching this video and I will see you in the next one.